If you're a fan of Doc 2, then keep watching, because today we're going to be checking out the Doc 2 Regeneration mod, a mod that lets you regenerate up to 12 different times and completely overhauls the standard vanilla death system. So what does this mod do? Well, let's jump in and explore. So first of all, we can take a look that the inventory and survival mode is a little bit different than we're usually used to. There's now actually a brand new tab here called Regeneration. So this shows the number of regenerations which you have potentially currently, and it also shows what you are, so just a normal playing boring human right now. Let me explain the purpose of everything here. This is the GUI menu which lets you change your skin when you're regenerating, so it gives us quite a few options which are configurable. Now, to actually have your own supported skins in here, you will need to place your own skins within the custom skins folder. What that will do is it will then bring up the skin in the next incarnation dialog window, which will basically give you the skin which you're going to be for the next regeneration. So this is pretty cool. Now, there's also a lot of defaults which actually comes with already. Now, you can see most of these are kind of just generic skins which are pulled from skin websites. They're not really in relation to Doc 2, other than things like Jack Harkness, who's a character obviously played by John Barrowman in the Doc 2 series. So there's a few here which are related to the show, but most of them are generic skins. And you can also click on Skin Directory, which opens the folder where you actually put your own skins in, and you can also save the changes in this dialog too. Now if you press Trending, this shows a few trending skins off like the skin websites and stuff, but if you untick it, it will just show kind of default skins which actually come with the mod itself. But this isn't the only thing you can do in this dialog, you can also change the color so you're probably wondering what do these colors actually do per se. Well, I'm going to explain that. So these are the regeneration colors. So these are what the particles are going to look like when you regen. Now, we're not going to change this because by default, they actually look really cool. You can also change the hand type. So you can change to Alex or Steve here. That's what this means. And then you can also change the particle effect. This is basically the animation style. So you can have particles of different types like Blaze, Ender Dragon, things like that. But the best one is the default, which is Sparkle, because that kind of looks better for the regen. So that's the customization. So basically, if you spawn this item called the Chameleon Arch, it will basically turn you into a Time Lord. So if now we go into survival mode, which we were in before, which we'll do after we spawn a hostile enemy, and we're just going to spawn a gas in survival mode, which probably shouldn't be done. Now, if we go into the regen menu, it says we have 12 regenerations. So let's just spawn this guy over here who's going to attack me and I am going to have low health, just like a human. We're just going to let him kill me really quickly. Hopefully, he will despawn, though, when we respawn, because I don't want this guy to be here forever. And then, boom. Okay, so now it says you're in a state of grace. So this is the grace period. So when you're a Time Lord, you have a grace period. So you can press Y to regenerate in this period. And this is basically what will happen. Look how cool this is, dude. This is possibly the coolest thing I've ever seen. You have different particles that surround you, which is the sparkle effect. So in this grace period, you can usually fend off death for up to 15 minutes. But now you can see that it's already done automatically. So now it says 11 regenerations, and now I've been regenerated into a new person, and I've taken the skin of a doctor, which is actually pretty cool. And also when we press E, we have a new status effect called Regeneration 4, because it's going to give us regen. It is going to give us some negative side effects, though. So you can get things like mining fast fatigue or things which make you temporarily weaker and also we've got an achievement change my appearance regenerate for the first time change my gear so that's what regens are like but you'll see now that we've regened and that we're a time lord who's regened we also have golden hearts so we basically have the health points of a golden apple so we're actually stronger as well which is pretty cool now you would usually press r to regenerate on demand and that's how you would regen and as you can see we also have resistance too, so that's pretty cool too. So let's go over some of the custom items. Okay, so you can see we're a Time Lord now, so I can actually wear the Time Lord soldier armor, and you can see I actually have this worn on now, which looks super cool. So this is one of the sets, and there's also a second set which has a female and a male version. Obviously, I'm using a male skin, so I'm obviously going to apply the male version. And as you can see over here is the main Time Lord suit, which you can see off all the classic Doc 2 stuff. This is like the members of the Time Lord Council. So this is really cool, and you can get certain achievements like the Time Lord Guard, armor and the Gallifrey robes and it says now that the regen process is entirely completed which means my 12th regen has been used up and now I only have 11. There's also some elixirs which we can use okay so one thing to actually note is there is actually certain traits so these are kind of like genes in a way so it's kind of like genetics but we can actually use these elixirs so if we just drink these elixirs over here it will say we are in a state of grace press Y to regenerate so as you can see when we're in a state of grace we have these hand particles which kind of beam around us and then we will regenerate so this is pretty cool okay just look how cool it looks when we regenerate it looks just as cool every single time and now we're actually changing into a third skin just like we did before and we can also see 
we have a new trait called Ender Emergency. And we have a temporary debuff, but we also have regen. So there's a few of these chalices we can use. So every chalice you use, it gives you a different trait. Okay, so these are kind of elixirs which grant you a new trait. And usually they will actually force you to regenerate. But remember, the regeneration process does actually take a time to complete. So you can't regenerate instantly after doing it. You do need to wait a certain period of time. Now you can delay regeneration up to 15 minutes. Those two times I regenerated basically instantly. After regeneration, we get fully fed, we get fully healed and we have a few useful traits but also some temporary debuffs which make us weaker but they don't really last for too long. The reason you might want to actually delay regeneration is because you can use this time to repair your base, stop buildings from burning or basically just spend a little bit of time finishing off stuff and then you can basically change into a new form. And the R key will usually activate regeneration in this period. But if you don't regenerate and you leave it way too long you can actually die with a vanilla health system so then you will probably most likely have to use the item to become a time lord again so we have a few different trait items here these elixirs okay so i'm actually going to show you these in creative mode just so you have an idea of what traits are actually available so we have ender emergency so we teleport away when we're hurt that's the one that they granted me we have mining faster fire immunity infinite oxygen when swimming no knockback higher jumps further reach you get more power from the sun which will cover the power system later faster sprint speed more xp drops harder punches which is probably strength faster swim which is just like dolphin's grace i would presume and also water walking so you can practically be jesus as a time lord which is pretty funny these are the traits okay these are unique genes which make you stronger every regeneration and it will give you a random one each time there are actually mobs which actually correspond to each different type of time lord and these are actually exactly the same ones as the armor sets which are available to you too now i'm not sure if the armor sets drop from these or if they're craftables because i just spawned them in but i'll show you what they look like on the actual time lords themselves so over here we have a time lord guard and it will spawn a guard with a random name a random appearance and they will sometimes have a weapon then we have the time lord council which also have different skins and names so it's a completely randomized spawning process and we have the male and the female versions over here so you can populate the world with time lords so just before they basically all got extinct so if you want to maybe build like a gallifrey and build or some kind of creation this would be a pretty cool mod to do so but i would recommend probably trying the dark mod for that because it has more content in terms of the whole universe now you'll see these guys spawn with some weapons well there's actually two so first of all we have the staser rifle and just the normal staser which is kind of like a handgun form now if you right click on the time lords themselves they do actually make traits this is how you actually obtain these items and how you can obtain the further elixirs, which give you the different traits from powers. These are through different things like diamonds and vanilla ores, like netherite ingots, which are pretty hard to obtain. That's quite expensive. But also through this new material, which we'll cover a little bit later. So this is how you obtain the weapons. And they're actually pretty powerful. As you can see, they do kind of have iron sights on them and shoot lasers. And the time lords themselves are not actually invincible. Now, I did kill that time lord because he was in a state of weakness. But if we just damage one again, hopefully to the point where they don't actually die, you can see the hands are glowing. Okay. And then... Okay, I don't want to kill them because it's kind of hard to show this. If you basically attack them to the point where the hands are glowing like this, then they will eventually start to regenerate because these mobs can actually go into regeneration too because they are technically time lords. So if we would leave them, they would then start to regenerate into a completely different appearance. Okay. So it's pretty cool. They support regeneration too. And there's also the normal Staser pistol, which I forgot to actually show you. So I guess these are like Time Lord weapons. I don't actually know about this part of the universe, but this is actually pretty cool. And they're not too powerful. I guess they would be more powerful on mobs themselves. Oh, and he's making his regeneration. Look how cool that is. And this guy has green particles, okay? And this was a Time Lord guard, so he's not even like high council, but he's still going into regen mode. That's pretty sick. So next up is a custom block. This is the bio container. Okay, so to use this bio container, we're going to need to have an item, which is a hand. So this is Alex's hand. This is Steve's hand, if you're wondering. Now they have different traits and different energy storage values. And this is because I've spawned them through creative. The reason why we need this is because this powers this particular item. Now you'll see in a moment. So what does the bio container do? 
you well this actually lets you retain your current traits of the current character you are right now so when you regen you will basically have the same traits as the current time lord or form that you're currently holding before you die and it'll also let you store residual energy within this container passively which is super important in terms of this mod which actually functions on this energy system so you need to have one of these hands now usually you have to hold like shift and right click with a sharp object to actually obtain one of these and then you can place it into this jar okay so now you can see we have this hand in this jar we just right click and then now it's actually within the bio container so that's how you put it in there so basically you have to right click this when regenerating to keep your current traits if you have a hundred residual energy which is stored within here you can shift right click on this and you can get more regenerations which add on to your regeneration number in here in the menu system now earlier you saw that the trades with these time lords required a new material this is zinc ore okay and just like vanilla we have both zinc and also deep slate which is obviously the thicker and deeper variant of it and this also comes in a zinc ingot so when you mine this and retrieve this stuff and smelt it into ingots you can actually use it in the trades with those time lords which will get you those really powerful items we're going to drop from the sky here and we still ha how do we still have one heart dude what the hell boom okay now we're in a state of grace press y to regenerate so if you punch blocks this basically allows you to hold off the regeneration state so before when i said you can hold it off for up to 15 minutes you do this by punching the blocks and this obviously gave me an achievement i will not change punch a block to delay the regen now like i said before if you do this for long enough you will eventually die so you need to be really careful so now what we can do is we can go into regeneration again so if we just put this in here and then when we press regenerate oh my god that looks awesome <laughs> then we can okay this is kind of hard because when you go into regen mode it goes into third person view but you can see in the distance that this has actually been charging okay so every time you regenerate it charges with something called lindos energy which is basically regeneration energy and this is what powers this so then you can obviously like shift right click on it when it goes up to 100 and it will give you another regen or more regenerations to make your character last for longer so this is how you can become a more powerful time lord and that was the doc 2 regeneration mod this pairs perfectly with the dalek mod especially the new tardis mod 2 which works seamlessly with this one i know there's a few of you guys who like doc 2 so i thought i would cover a doc 2 themed mod and also because i've been watching it recently for nostalgic purposes and i thought this would be a pretty fun mod showcase if you want to see more doc 2 themed mod videos do let me know in the comments below and also tell me what you think of this mod thanks for watching and subscribe see you soon